when I stand on the mountain and I say, do it, it gets done. It's Charles Manson and never before seen video with ABC's Diane Sawyer. Can you see yourself in there? I can see myself in there. They don't have mirrors where I'm at. The chilling interview conducted in 1993 is now at the core of a new ABC documentary, Truth and Lies, the family Manson airing Friday night. Well, it's remarkable just to see how much, uh, how much is in all that that we've never been able to put on TV before. In the documentary, an ABC sound engineer talks about the chilling moment when he placed the microphone on Manson. As I'm putting the microphone on, he looks me in the eye and he says, where are you from, boy? And the hair on the back of my neck stood up. And I said, I'm from Los Angeles, sir. And he said, Los Angeles. And I've been waiting a long time for a bus to come pick me up and take me on back. In prison in 1964, he heard the Beatles for the first time. He had learned how to play guitar in prison, and he had said he was going to be bigger than the Beatles when he got out. And when he got out, it was the summer of love, 1967 in San Francisco, and everybody was playing guitar and trying to write songs. Then after his release, he had a chance encounter with Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys. Manson had moved himself and all of his followers into Wilson's house and stayed there nonstop for a while. The Mike Beach Boys' Dennis Mike Love tells dinner. of coming face to face with Manson after Love tried to leave a wild party at Wilson's home. No sooner than I got in the shower, door opened and Charlie Manson stood there and looked up at me and said, you can't do that. I said, excuse me? You can't leave the group. And he looked at me with these wide eyes and kind of maniacal look. Manson and his followers murdered actress Sharon Tate and six others in 1969, but those murders may have been triggered by Manson's failed ambition to become a rock star. Manson in his own mind was going to be a huge success, and the thing was, he told his family, he told his followers that he was getting a recording deal. He thought he'd been promised one, but he hadn't. And so the anger that he felt at um, not getting that deal may have fueled some of the anger that we saw you know, on those nights in Los Angeles. When I stand on the mountain and I say, do it, it gets done.